My heart screams out, no, just let dreams be your master. Look past my fame, I'm in need. Please let me live in your world. I hope that your eyes can see that I need someone to love me for me. All right, so Someone to Love Me For Me. That is a song by Lisa Lisa and Cult Jam featuring uh, the band Full Force. That song came out in 1987. It was on their album. So many of you may not know that song, but I um, absolutely love that song. Um, I was a kid. <laughs> I think I was maybe like five. Maybe even four, four or five or so. But my aunt had that uh, cassette. She had that album, and I would listen to it all the time. And that was one of my favorite songs on the album. So, uh, pretty much the premise of that song, Someone to Love Me For Me, it talks about people who are, um, like, for instance, famous people or people who are on a, a certain level or have a certain status. And the public... All they can see is this person who has a lot of money, has all this fame, all this fortune. They are um, entertaining and whatever it is that they're doing. But even with all of those things that they have around them, sometimes it can still be very lonely in the position that they're in. Possibly because with them having all of these things, just never knowing who to trust and never knowing who is really there for them and who's really there to be in their life genuinely rather than to use them for whatever it is that they can provide for them. Whether this is money or whether this is a free ride um, or the, the amenities that come with being a celebrity. So with that being said... Uh, thank you all for joining me again for your weekly general reading. I pray that you all are doing well, staying safe, taking care of yourselves, and just loving yourselves for you and loving other people for who they are as well, too. So if you um, feel so inclined, uh, please hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe to my video. I would greatly appreciate it. And also, if you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is down below. And as usual, you already know this is the channel where I give it to you straight, no chaser, but with compassion. But if there are some things in this message that I say that do not resonate with you, that do not um, agree with you, that you don't like, that you don't care for, you already know what to do. Leave those messages on the floor. Leave them at the door for somebody else that would come along, pick them up. I promise and guarantee you. So... You know, it puts me that song um, and this reading pretty much. Okay, so the pretty much for this reading, um, I'm channeling because I just channeled that song earlier today or later on this evening um, out of nowhere. I was in the shower when it began playing in my head. So I said, all right, I guess that's the uh, message um, that's going to be coming out. And it sort of reminds me of. For instance, Britney Spears, Lucky. So uh, that song that came out um, years ago. So the same premise right there. She's so lucky. She's a star, but she cries, cries, cries in my lonely heart thinking if there's something missing in my life, then why do these tears fall at night? So pretty much again, um, feeling that emptiness or feeling that loneliness because even when and even if we're the average regular person we don't always have to have bukus of money or be a celebrity or anything of that nature um or be on some kind of public platform where people just see us but depending on what type of energy that we have depending on what it is that we provide to people sometimes it can feel as if people are just going to use us and then take advantage of us in some ways so it does make us shy away or makes us very wary of uh, certain relationships especially when it comes to romantic love <laughs> that card came right on out so um then we have balance as well too and then freedom so, 
I feel as if with this, this is just wanting someone wanting to have that um, certain balance in their relationship and like it's equal footing. Someone wants equal uh, footing uh, right there. So this could be something that you did not get in your previous relationships. Um, maybe something that is going on now in your current, but definitely going forward in any future ones, if you are not in a relationship, then this is something that you are looking for. Freedom, freedom to be yourself, freedom to express yourself. Your other partner being free to express themselves as well too. Maybe in the past or maybe even currently. Maybe you've dealt with people who just felt very restrictive and they didn't feel comfortable being themselves or speaking up or speaking out and they kept you guessing right there. Um, my bad, y'all. Uh, I shuffle these cards all the damn time. So, and these are hard suckers. My, um... Sacred geometry of romance cards, but um, our relationships rather. But keep in mind, relationships do not always have to equate to romantic love. These relationships can be any relationship that is in your life right now, uh, that has been in your life. But for some of you, this is romantic love, okay? Let's not trip here, <laughs> that's just what's on the table. But for many of you, this can also be, as I just said, the freedom to be yourself and just have some equality within your relationships. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And it can be sometimes it can be very lonely, even when we are in a room full of people. If we are not feeling a connection or we're feeling as if we are missing something, then even when we're surrounded by people at a party or a gathering or wherever it may be, we can still feel as if we're the only people in that room, um, or only person in that room, uh, rather, being singular. But <laughs> um, this is where we have to form that solid, cohesive relationship with ourselves first. And I always say this, because if we don't have that solid relationship with ourselves then any relationship that we are trying to form with other people, especially when it comes to romance, it'll look like this. Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups in the reverse. Knight of Cups in the reverse is someone who will just um, accept anything from anyone. Um, it may look good on the surface, but it's all for show sometimes. Um, because the Knight of Cups, that's a, it's a very romantic energy. It's very charming. Um, they will bring you flowers. They will take you out to dinner, whether it's a man or whether it's a woman, whoever it is. But they will wine and dine you. And they will really try to connect, you know, with you. But when it comes out in the reverse like this, this can be someone who's just very moody. Someone who's just uh, dark, um, depressed. Even as I said, I feel as if someone here wants either either you want to be someone who does this or you want your partner to be someone who is more expressive. As I said, free to be yourself, free for them to be themselves. But someone was suppressing. This is a this is a lot of suppressive energy right here with the Knight of Cups, suppressing emotion. Even if this person was having a lot of emotion or so, they didn't really speak up. They didn't really say anything. And again, kept you in this guessing game. And is that really fair to you? No. So <clears throat> this could be what's going on right now, as I said, or it could just be something that's from the past. But this is something that you want to avoid right here. Because why do you want to be in a relationship that is just going to keep you guessing? that is going to um, try to suppress you as well too. Maybe not allowing you to be yourself or allowing you to express yourself in a way in which you feel comfortable right there. That's not, relation that's not a relationship, that's control. That is pure control. Now, if this emperor in reverse comes out, then we already know that is control. That's domination right there. No one deserves that. Um, <clears throat> 
and who would want to be in that type of relationship. But, you know, I can't judge. There are some people who like for other people to take the reins and just speak up and have the say-so and everything. Yes, that can be uh, very sexy in some ways, but then when it gets to a point where it's just overly dominating and you're not allowed to have a voice in your own, then that gets old pretty quickly. It would for me. As soon as I started this camera, my nose started running. Y'all already know. So, uh, it's the, these seasonal changes, okay? One day it's hot here in San Diego. The other day it was 80 degrees. And the next day it was 60 degrees. So, it comes with the territory. But, listen, I'm not one for all that damn snow and ice and hail and cold and all of that stuff. So I will take the San Diego weather. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. Relationships, disappointments, anger, sadness, depression, heartbreak, hotel. Three of swords, energy, but it comes out in the reverse. So as I said, this could very well be just past energy that is happening because with this three of swords uh, coming out in this position, it is healing because we've already been through uh, the gamut. We've already gone to heartbreak hotel, but now wanting to step out of that energy <clears throat> and actually um, make better choices and make better decisions in our partners and the people that we choose. Ugh. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me. But this is a live video. I'm not stopping. Uh, we are already uh, 12 minutes in. Almost 12 minutes in. So, shit. We gonna keep this going. Uh, Y'all just bear with me. Okay. Anyway, um, also, again, this three of swords in the reverse, this can be someone who is, and especially now coming out with this knight of cups, someone who is deeply depressed or deep in their feelings, suppressed, repressed, oppressed, all the pressed. Stop the presses. Stop pressing. Shit. Okay, whoever this was, I don't know who y'all were dealing with because hopefully this is not y'all, but I feel as if this is, as I said, this is now wanting to step out of these type of relationships. This is Eeyore. <laughs> Thanks for noticing me. Okay, from Winnie the Damn Pooh. This is Eeyore energy right here. That's all. This is your energy all day long that I'm getting right there. This is sad. This is depressing. Um, you you try to make someone's favorite meal, or you try to have a conversation with them, or you try to uh, make them laugh in some way, and they just they're just not getting it. They're just not opening up. They're so deep in whatever it is that they are feeling. That whatever it is that you're doing or trying to do, that's not even helping them right there because they're not opening up. And I'm not saying that this person did not have any romantic feelings or that they don't have romantic feelings for you. But at the same time, um, you can't do all of the work. It's not fair for one person. That's why we have this balance card coming out. It is not fair for one person to try to pick up the slack for the work that someone else in the relationship is not willing to do. Because when we are, especially when it comes to any type of relationship, but especially in the romantic sectors right there, we have one person over here who's doing their own work or trying and working on themselves individually. Then we have the other person over here who should be doing the same thing and then we have and that's just separately okay that's just separately then in the middle we have this relationship where there is some kind of balance where we are meeting each other halfway and we are um making this work whatever this is and again whatever the relationship uh is to you this could very well be friendship right there Maybe there's a friend who always, every time you come around, they always complain about something or they always um, are stuck on the same pattern or same cycle. And it's, what is it, like the Debbie Downers or something? Or, you know, and not to not to knock anybody whose name, whose name is uh, Debbie or Deborah or anything, but I'm just saying, this is someone who's just always low. And maybe they had good reason to be. 
But the thing is, they you don't have, we don't have to stay there. Heartbreak Hotel, for whatever the reason, if someone has done us wrong or if someone has hurt us or um, disappointed us in some type of way, then of course we are allowed to feel those feelings. However, it will not be of any use if we allow ourselves to just continue to drag ourselves down or allow whatever has happened to drag us down. And it especially isn't fair to um, pull someone else into that as well, too. So, thanks for noticing me. Okay, Eeyore. Here we go. Three of Cups. Somebody could have been out here cheating. Okay, and this is this is actually what I was alluding to or getting to when I said um, if they've been hurt or angered in past relationships, maybe you got with someone who had been in a relationship before and maybe there was some uh, third party action going on right there. And when I say third party, um, cheating. All right, let's just put that out on the table first and foremost, but third parties do not always have to be another person in a relationship or another romantic partner getting in the way of a relationship. It could be children, it could be family, it could be friends, it could be work, it could be money, finances, fi finances financial issues or anything of that nature that are... Um, getting in the way um, of something. But I feel with this one, especially because of the romantic love, someone out here, whoever it was that possibly you were dealing with from the past, maybe they had, they were in a serious relationship and they got cheated on. Maybe they were cheated on multiple times to the point where they were... Someone, okay. Someone was... Someone was getting into relationships this won't be for everybody but this is the energy or feeling intuition going in right now someone needed to someone felt comfort when they were in relationships or some kind of partnership right there they wanted to be needed someone wanted to be needed or someone just um they couldn't be alone. That's what it was. Someone here couldn't be alone. And hell. So basically, if this is something in the past, this person had never even healed from whatever they were dealing with with this issue. Therefore, they jump into another relationship and somehow that kind of goes to hell because <laughs> with this three of swords coming out on the board right here as i said it's some heartbreak hotel in here whether this person has experienced this in the past or whether this happened to your relationship because of them being unhealed someone was very unhealed here from their own past therefore um this is possibly why and especially if you don't know about this or they weren't saying anything, then hey, I'm here to tell you right now, right? So, justice, exactly. Um, possibly the way, okay, and that's a mess because somehow someone felt justified in doing this action right here um, because of their own hurt and because of their own deep hurt, maybe doing the same things to you that had been done to them, whether this person cheated or if they didn't cheat, but just not, um, and it doesn't have to be, but um, more, mostly what I'm getting is someone just kept you on the outs. Um, they would never let you fully in. They were, someone was very distrustful, possibly because of what they had been through, but this was kind of their way. So someone was kind of making you pay for what somebody else had done to them. That's childish. But the page of, I mean, well, the page, I was going to say the Knight of Cups, but the Page of Cups is a young energy as well, too. Knight of Cups is not that mature. Um, it can be, it, it's, it, this Knight of Cups, if we're talking age range, Two people. This could be someone in their um, someone in their twenties. So someone who, again, and especially when we are in our twenties, but it doesn't really matter what age we are. 
it can happen at any time. But especially during those teenage years, those uh, 20 something uh, years right there, um, people can sometimes think that, oh, this is my end all be all. I'm going to be in love with this person forever. And then reality hits and um, that's not the case. Three of Wands, so expectations. As I said, someone was expecting, probably expecting you to pick up more of the work in this relationship or expecting you to do more because they felt justified in this. Again, making you pay for what someone else had done to them. That's so fucked up, but I mean, it happens. It truly does happen. What's this? Right, making you do all the work. They didn't want to do any of the work right here. They didn't want to do any of the work. So therefore, you are putting in extra time, effort, money, um, affection, love, whatever it was uh, for you or in your relationship right here. Um, it's so interesting because we get the justice card, which is balanced. And he has the scales, the scales of justice right there. And we have the balance card that comes out, the very first card that popped out. So this is pretty much backing um, up what I'm saying, that someone was making you put in the work when they weren't really putting in a lot of the effort on their part. Someone just wanted someone to take care of them and baby them in a way. All because of what someone else had done to them. Whatever this uh, was, okay? It can be different for everyone. Right, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. That's Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is self-worth and self-value, self-esteem that is totally low because someone does not, someone didn't feel worth. Okay, someone, someone was made to feel worthless in their relationship possibly because of what went down with them. Therefore, they treat you in a manner where you feel as if you are um, inferior to them. That's what happened here, or that's what's currently happening if this is your current relationship. So, this, yeah, that's, and, and, and again, if this is something that has happened to you in the past, then maybe that's why I am picking up that picking up that song, Someone to Love Me for Me. So wanting someone who's going to be very genuine and give them a solid commitment, someone was not giving someone a solid commitment here. Um, they didn't want to put in the work. They didn't want to put in the effort for this. So what else? Because they never fully let something go. This death card, they never fully let something go. And they were still holding on. That's what it was. They were still holding on to this past hurt. Whatever was happening or whatever did happen to them. So if you, um, as I said, if you were left lingering, you didn't have any questions or any, or you had questions about some things, um, you weren't quite sure of what was going on in your relationship or what is currently going on, if this is you that I'm reading right here, then I'm here to tell you, um, you're putting in you're putting in most of the work, and someone has not let some connection or let their feelings surrounding some connection uh, go. They're still holding on to that. Hell, probably even still holding out hope, and that's why they're not giving you that full solid commitment. So, say if this was someone who cheated, or um, D or you know stepped out on the relationship or whatever it was on this person if this person came back around possibly and apologized or um say let's get back together or let's reconnect or do something this person would probably drop you and go right on back to them because as i said they're not um uh, this they're not over it and that's, this is why they are not offering you or this is why they did not give you um, that solid commitment right there. So, exactly. Patience, but being impatient, um, not balanced. Again, 
This is that Eeyore energy with the Temperance card coming out because the Temperance card just speaks about, again, more balance. But it speaks more about that um, internal balance, you know, that we have mental balance. Someone could have been mentally imbalanced to the point someone probably seeking therapy or something or had to go into therapy um, or feeling as if or maybe they sh could, should have or sought some kind of therapy or something, you know, whatever the case may be. Because again, not fully dealing with this situation right here. And hell, even if they did seek out some kind of therapy or even if they did go, whatever they were doing, they still had not let this um, die. And it was still lingering in the background. So I was going to say that with this Ace of Wands, um, because even with this Three of Cups, this could have been some one in the past, but... You know, since it's on the board, it very well could have been your energy as well, too, where, yeah, it was a good, fun, social time, but it was just a good time for them. It wasn't really worth them um, taking seriously. With this Ace of Wands, very passionate connection, sexual energy, probably heavy sexual energy, but not to the point where they wanted to actually invest um, in you uh, with a solid commitment right here. So... Okay, devil coming out in the reverse. <laughs> devil coming out in the reverse. Um, could could have been very toxic in some ways. Hell, maybe this other connection right there was toxic. Or this could have just been some... Well, okay. This kind of came out the other night as well, too, in one of those readings. Um, which one was it? I think it's... I'm looking for someone special. I, I'm looking for that special one. So go back and check out that reading. Um, you know, as well, it might be some things in there. But this Ace of Wands and this Devil card came out at the same time beside each other. So there was some kind of uh, toxic, uh, codependent relationship going on in this connection, whatever this connection is. The sex kept someone together, I feel. Hell, this could very well be talking about what's going on currently in your relationship or this could be going or this could have happened to them and this is just what they did not tell you right there. Um as I said what no I say it this way because I'm getting a few ways. If this is the same energy from that other reading as I said, then whoever this person with, of course, they were having separate connections right there and someone found out about it. This also could be saying that um this person who I was describing in the beginning, who was that Eeyore energy, maybe even just putting you, putting you in that third party situation where you didn't even know and they were still holding on to the lingering hope or the feelings of this other person from the past. Hell, maybe this other person from the past had not fully disappeared as well too and you just didn't know about it. They were still just kind of lingering around in the background and at the moment when um, this person gave them the green light, they dropped you um, like a hot potato. They dropped you like a hot potato. Um, even with your current relationship now, if this is with this person, as I said, and there you you're not feeling as if you're getting that commitment, you you could very well have a a hot and heavy commitment, you know, or a hot and heavy relationship, but it's purely sexual based. And, you know, that's not going to be for everybody. And I'm not here to uh, crap on your relationship. But this devil card coming out, that can be very codependent energy right here. So I feel as if someone now has or is going to release this codependent energy. Um, because it's very fear-based. But it's only based in physical connection. I knew this card was going to come out. This hierophant card, commitment. It was some kind of uh, commitment here. They didn't commit to you, but there was some commitment that they had with someone else, especially with this justice card coming out. There could have been a marriage here that you didn't even know about. Hell, now I don't know. Um, As I said, whoever they were dealing with could have been putting them in third party situations where they were having other people from the past or this person very well put you or maybe putting you right now 
in a third party relationship and you may not be aware of it but there is some kind of commitment that is going on because the justice and the hire of a card that can represent marriage because justice is a legal it can be legal it can be contracts it can be uh binding contracts as well too um if these people were married then hell maybe they were having threesomes or something and possibly Okay, because this I'm reading a few storylines here, so you all put that energy where it goes. If these people were married, okay, whoever you're dealing with and whoever they were with or are with, they could be married, but they could have open relationships. And because it is sexual energy here. So maybe they're free to go out to have sex with whoever they want as long as they don't form a connection, you know, with them. Maybe the person who they're married to or are committed to, maybe this person went out and they formed a emotional connection, or maybe this person is now forming a emotional connection with you, but they can't offer you much or they can't give you much because they have this legal binding contract that's going on between them uh, right there. So that's a whole lot of tea right there. But again, you put that information where it goes, uh, where you think it may go, but with this two of wands, this is someone um, moving in a different direction. So as I said, they may feel, and maybe this is why they're not opening up. Or maybe feel as if they can't open up. Because if they say too much, then it's going to, uh, one, maybe put their connection in jeopardy. Maybe they're even trying to get out of this connection because with this devil in reverse and the Hierophant card coming out in reverse, this is saying that whatever the commitment is, they've been, they're been they trying to release themselves from it. Maybe if they are tied up with this person um, and they're trying to get out of this, then that could possibly be what's going on. And this is why this Two of Wands here... Um, Maybe looking in your direction or wanting to make a choice and move in your direction, but not being totally free to do so. Um, or this could just be very well. This could be something coming up as well. Shit, I don't know. All right. I wasn't expecting all that to come out, but you know what? No matter what this is, if this is something in the past or if this is something in the present, what I'm here to say is you Whoever I'm speaking to, if you are dealing with this, you deserve a lot better than this. You deserve a lot better than just being on the sidelines waiting for someone to um, divorce their spouse or whatever. Even if it's bullshit going on in these people's relationship and they're no longer in love, they no longer have um, a connection or whatever it is, then I don't feel that because we all know how this story goes. Okay, we all know how this story goes. Um, we've heard it time and time again where people have waited for someone and all they kept receiving was a false promise of, oh yeah, I'm gonna get out of this relationship. We're done, we're separated. We're not um, together anymore. But they may not be together anymore emotionally, but they probably still um, connected in some way right there. And maybe they're just together because of some legal legal issues or legal contracts. If they share property, if they have children, um, uh, money, all of that stuff. So yeah, <clears throat> they may be out of the marriage or they may want out of the marriage, but legally they're still tied down. So don't let people have their cake and eat it too. I hate that saying, by the way, because... If it's cake, and if the cake is right there, and if it's my damn cake, then why the hell can I eat it? I like the saying, um, you can't have your cake, your ice cream, your cookies, your apple pie, your cherry pie, and um, all the whipped cream and everything on top, uh, because now you're just being greedy. So, either have someone make a solid commitment to you, and you wait until they are done, and you see the paperwork, um, whatever it is and they're free to come in your direction or you do yourself a favor and you find your own self-worth and you move the hell on. Anyway, that's all I got for you. And please hit that like button, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And also, if you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is down below. Follow me on TikTok, Quentin Wilson 944 um, Thank you all. You all, I will talk to you later. Good night.